Thanks for joining us on the news at this time. I am Mary Ihejirika. Now the news in detail. Abbey State Government is planning to upgrade eight schools of nursing and midwifery to a full-fledged College of Nursing Sciences as the eight nursing schools will be merged to one main campus with main campus in Omaha. Disclosing this during a press briefing in Omaha, the State Commissioner for Information, Prince O.K. Kano, said the intention of the state government is to make the study of nursing the best and enhance the qualification and production of top-grade nurses. He also said that the government has commenced the posting of security personnel in schools across the state, preparatory for resumption on September 16. The measure, he said, is aimed at safeguarding lives and property in the schools, especially as a report of criminal invasion of schools in the country and vandalism of school infrastructure were on the increase. President Bolatinibu and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping in Beijing, China, announced the elevation of Nigeria-China ties to comprehensive strategic partnership levels. The two leaders who met at the Great Hall in central Beijing also agreed to build a high-level Nigeria-China community with a shared future. During the meeting, both presidents witnessed the signing of several memoranda of understanding MOUs on various areas of mutual interest. President Tinibu said his administration is reforming the Nigerian economy while adding that, the Nigeria, that Nigeria holds great potential as the country with the largest population in Africa. United Nations is expressing its readiness to partner with Nigeria to strengthen food security and boost agricultural productivity in the country. UN Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed met this pledge when she visited the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kiari in Abuja. Mohammed assured Kerry that the international community is ready to support the ministry to realize its mandate of ensuring food and nutrition security in the country. She expressed concern over the impact of climate change, food insecurity, cross-border issues and other global challenges. Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, has raised the pump price of petrol to 897 naira per litre, depending on the location per litre and amid lingering for scarcity and the country's crisis from the official price of 617 naira. This is coming days after the National Oil Company said it was heavily constrained by the huge debt it owes international suppliers. The debt is estimated to be $6.8 billion. Other marketers have since jacked up prices too, following NNPCL's price adjustment, with over 30% increments reported to around 1,000 naira per liter. A separate. <laughs> But I was surprised I'm putting a Yesterday evening, my go, I was going to worry. My but I want to fuel one thousand one hundred. And some people are selling one thousand two fifty. Eh? They don't be very hard. And the people are not they don't have the money to pay. From here to one thousand two thousand, they can't be able to afford it. How how can we cope? We can't cope, my my sister. Only too much. Eh? Between the two man, it will affect the, even the food stock. Look at what I'm carrying, that uh, cassava something there now. I'm going to Abre, um, Abreba. Because of price now, they, have to, they pay me 100000 Are they supposed to pay 100000 to Abreba? So yeah, both, uh, both food. Look at, can you view that? You can see it. It's very, very bad. We are suffering in this country. The country is finished. You understand me? Well, nobody's happy. Nobody's happy. Everyone's angry. We are angry. And this thing continues. I don't know in two months what will happen. The government should bring it down. The masses are suffering. People are suffering. You can see it. People are suffering. You can see them. Q line. Because of what? Fuel. We have in our own country here. We can't make use of it. It's very, very bad. Eh? We are suffering. A tire now is almost 80,000. Better on tire. Can you imagine that? This is the total oil. It's almost 25,000 something. Is it good? It's very bad. We put it before 12,000. 9,000. But now it's 25,000. Uh, 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 five liters of oil. Uh, fuel tanner is almost 2,000 something. A uh, fuel tanner. Okay, break part of this motor is getting to almost 5,000 now. Is, is it good? 
I'm riding Keke from Oplumobo Junction. We find things difficult this time around, mostly in terms of this fuel problem. The price they put fuel now, they affect us too much. And if you are telling our passengers small amount, we are top from the, the one we are using to carry them. They are refused. If you watch us, you can see that the Keke just pack, no passengers, nothing, nothing. So we are just begging government. At this last time, we are here that Dan Kote refinery go starting to produce fuel, that fuel will be lesser. Until now, things is rising more and more. So we are finding it difficult to eat. Since morning when I come work, I never get one naira to eat. No, no work, no passenger. Anyone will take price. She just leave your keke, work with your leg. How much you buy for two? I buy it for 1,150. Yesterday, I put it on. I said, I'm going to go to the station. 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 I'm going to on the Yanin Subuna, amount of money and a mean increase. Every day, and it's going to fuel. Every day, and it's going to fuel. Fuel, I name when Batu. Okay, got a gag when I am a fuel, got Batu. Look who bought fuel, I bought to be. Customers and dine when they dine a bar, passengers, and a quick on any handsome. On a dine, a shiran yke. I am a raw government to be cool. And was all like I get senior and yaka. And one at now, on a da one with it. Can you see Kerim Bella Tawano no Budani? So depot owners cited by Enimba TV confirmed the increase. Meanwhile, federal government has denied a report that the Ministry of Petroleum Resources ordered the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to sell fuel at 1,000 naira per litre. In a statement signed by the Special Advisor on Media and Communication to the Minister for Petroleum Resources, Oil, Henneken Lokmobiri, Nemeka Okafo, the government declared that the report was concocted and ill-conceived to sow discord and confusion in the oil industry. The report claimed that Lokmobiri gave the NMPCL the directive. The minister, however, stressed that the federal government had never interfered with petroleum pricing with NMPCL. Presidential aid Bayo Onanoga says the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCL, admitted to having financial constraints because it can no longer subsidize petrol. Onanoga, the special advisor on information and strategy to President Balatinibu, disclosed this in a post on X. He said if the NMPCL continues to pay the difference between the landing cost and petrol price, the National Oil Company will go bankrupt. Onanoga said NMPC's debt is a result of the company's effort to absorb rising petrol costs and protect Nigerian consumers rather than any government deception. President of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, has presented the first sample of premium motor spirit, commonly known as petrol. Dangote met the presentation during a broadcast at his refinery located in the Iweju Lake area of Lagos State. He also said the petrol from the plant in terms of quality could compete with products from other refineries across the world. Uh, Asked oh, to comment. This uh, refinery will actually change the entire dynamics, not only in Nigeria, but in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, the capacity that we have will not only meet up with the Nigerian demand, will meet up the demand of the sub-Saharan uh, Africa at least. On the pricing of petrol from his refinery, Mr. Dangote said it will be decided by the President Tinibu-led Federal Executive Council. Nigeria Police Force is calling on the wanted British national Andrew Wine to come out of his hiding and surrender to the police for questioning if his hands are clean. Addressing journalists in Abuja, Fort spokesperson Muyuwa Adejobi said Wine was contacted many times and he refused to show up even after his workshop was invaded. He insisted that some offenses had been established against Wine and his accomplices saying that saying that is why they have been arraigned in court. The police have declared Wine and his Nigerian 
collaborator Lucky Obian wanted for allegedly plotting to overthrow President Bolatinibu's administration and have placed a 20 million naira bounty on their heads. However, during a television appearance, Wan stated that he was unaware he had been labelled a fugitive. Nigeria Police Force is fingering an investigative journalist, David Hundeyin, and one Michael Alade as Pristol Isaac, that they describe as Pidom Nigeria's accomplices. The police met the revelation in Abuja during a press conference addressed by his spokesman, Muyiwa Adejobi. He said the police reached the conclusion following a discreet investigation which was carried out based on a petition from the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation. The Pidom Nigeria has been accused of leaking classified and restricted documents, fraud, sedition and tax invasion, among others. Meanwhile, the self-acclaimed whistleblower Isaac Bristol, also known as Pidom, has pleaded not guilty to a nine-count charge bordering on money laundering, cybercrime, unlawfully obtaining, retaining and disseminating classified secret documents preferred against him by the Nigerian police force. After taking his plea, the defendant counsel Deji Adeanju applied for his bail, which was objected by the prosecution counsel. After listening to the submissions of the lawyers in the suit, the trial judge, Justice Emeka Mwite, adjoined to September 23 for ruling on the bail application of the defendant, while ordering that he be remanded in Kuje Correctional Center. Inspector General of Police Kayote Ibetokun has approved a standardized uniform and kit for supernumerary police, popularly known as spy police. Ibetokun said approval is to enhance the professionalism and visibility of supernumerary police officers. Speaking at the unveiling of the kits, Ibetokun, who was represented by the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Finance and Administration, Bala Siroma, ordered all police training schools to adopt the new uniform issuance model for spy police personnel. President Bolatinibu has approved that the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Kayode Ibuetakun, remain in office until 2027. Against the backdrop of reports that his tenure was extended, a senior police source who requested anonymity clarified that the letter was not an extension but rather a confirmation that he should complete the four-year tenure as originally stated in his letter of appointment. In July, the National Assembly passed the Police Act Amendment Bill to enable a person appointed to the Office of Inspector General of Police, IGP, to remain in office until the end of the term stipulated in the letter of appointment. President Tinibu forwarded the bill to the House of Representatives and Senate to amend the tenure of the IGP. The bill was expeditiously passed by lawmakers in both green and red chambers. Governors elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have rebuked the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Chief Nyeso Wike, for threatening to set their states on fire should they meddle in the affairs of the party in River State. The PDP governors disclosed their position in a communique issued after a meeting in Jalingo, a Taraba state capital. They described Wike's threat as unbridled, reckless and unacceptable. In the statement read by Director General of PDP Governors Forum, Dr. Emmanuel Abo, the governors called on the various security agencies to take note of Wiki's threat. According to the governors, the minister's threat notwithstanding, they have resolved to support River State Governor Simina Laye Fubara and ensure that he enjoys all the rights and privileges due to sitting governors of the party. You're watching Enyumba TV News. After the short break, the news continues with the least story for the day in addition to business and sports update. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back and thanks for staying tuned. Now, the least story. Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, is demanding an immediate reversal of the hike in full price announced by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCL, saying the hike has worsened the misery of Nigerians. 
condemning the move in a statement, NLC President Joe Ajero accused the federal government of betraying labor movement. According to the NLC president, the current administration is yet to implement the new national minimum wage of 70,000 naira. While accusing the government of insincerity, Ajero described the policies of the current administration as traumatic. And on business, Nigeria's power generation rose to a three-year high of 5,313 megawatts this week. Federal Ministry of Power, in a statement issued by the media aides to the Power Minister Bolaji Tunji, encouraged electricity distributors to ensure the distribution of the generated energy. Reacting to this, the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, also called on power distribution companies to take more energy to prevent grid collapse as the grid frequency drops when power is produced and not peaked by the discos. He added that efforts will be made to encourage industries to purchase bulk energy. And on sports, the three-time Africa champions are set to face the Cheetahs on September 7 before facing the Amavubi on the road three days later. Interim Super Eagles coach Austin Egwevon has expressed optimism as the camp bubbles with 20 players ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against the Republic of Bene and Rwanda. Speaking ahead of the first game against General side, Egwevon, who took charge of the team after German coach Bruno Labadia, who was announced as the team's coach, turned down Nigeria's offer, said he is confident that the Eagles could do well in both games. Well, the sports story will wrap up this edition of news on Enyimba TV at this time. But before we go, here is a recap of the top stories. Abia to upgrade eight schools of nursing to full-fledged college of nursing. NNPCL raises petrol pump price as Dangote refinery releases sample of refined petrol. NLC demands immediate reversal of petrol price increase. That's a package of news for now. Please join us for more updates in our subsequent bulletins. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Click on the notification bell to receive alerts when new videos are uploaded. On behalf of the production team, I am Mary Ihejirika saying to have yourself a wonderful day.